Hey guys, today I'm going to share my review of the bilge pumps that I just bought from Lazada. Here's the box. It just states bilge pump on it. It shows it's a submersible and it's marked as a 12 volt, 1,100 gallon per hour bilge pump. We're going to test that and see if it does put out close to that amount of gallons per hour. And here's the bilge pump itself. If I put it in my hand, take a look. If my hand's roughly four inches wide, I'm gonna guess this bilge pump is about maybe five inches tall. It's not that wide at all. It's a nice small bilge pump. And I'm doing something different than what most people do with them. I'm actually gonna mount these onto my kayak. I'm gonna mount these onto my kayak and have a dual thrust motor kayak. This will probably go onto my rudder or somewhere else and I'll be able to turn them at the same time to push the thrust and propel my kayak. Well, I've got a battery that I'm going to be using with it. I chose to get the 12 volt, 25 amp hour battery. And uh, this battery is what's going to power them while I'm trolling. These claim to put out about 3.5 amps each. So I should be able to get an hour to an hour and a half or so if I run both of these at the same time. I'll be using them on my Etiwit 3, my two to three person kayak. And it's a mess back here, but I've got a lot of things that I'll be putting together and you'll be seeing later. Like this is my, one of my sail rigging kits. I made some lee boards that I'm going to convert into a rudder system that I can mount these onto later. That way I can steer and I can propel the kayak at the same time. You have to stick around for that video later. Let me show you how these bilge pumps work and how many gallons per hour they actually put out. All right guys, today I'm going to test a bilge pump I bought from the Zada. This is an, an 1,100 gallon per hour bilge pump. We want to see if it really can pump out 1,100 gallons per hour. I'm going to be using this one plus this other one that I've just rigged up for demonstration. I'll be putting both of these on the back of my kayak and making a bilge pump kayak trolling motor. So let's check it out. I'm going to go ahead and set this up so we can see how many gallons per hour this thing can actually pump out. Okay, so here it is guys, let's check it out. I'll put it towards the water so you can see it. And we'll count on the video and see how long it takes to drain this 15 liter bucket. And that's about it. Okay, so that was about 15 liters. I overfilled the bucket so it'd be a little more than 15 liters. You can see what's left. There's a little less than a liter left in there, so we're gonna call it 15 liters. Let's do the calculations and see how many gallons per hour the sink can pump out. All right, guys, keep in mind that this was an estimate only. I filled up the bucket with 15 liters of water, then I added a little extra on top because I knew it wouldn't be able to pump everything out. So at 15 liters in 15 seconds, that's about one liter a second, 60 liters in a minute, or 3,600 liters in an hour. So that's about 951 gallons per hour. That's not bad, seeing that they stated it was an 1,100 gallon per hour pump. So give or take a few liters, I'm gonna roughly estimate it and say it did do about 1,000 gallons per hour. Uh, stay tuned and watch my video coming up in the next week or so. I'm gonna mount both of these onto my kayak and uh, make my own propulsion system. It's gonna be cool. All right, check it out. See you later.